This is ZNS Total Sports. Welcome to sports, everybody. Last night, the Chris Brown Invitational taking over the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium and world-class stars were on full display. Let's start with the men's 100 meters. Former world and Olympic champion Justin Gatlin in fine form. He dipped under the 10-second barrier, picking up the win in 9.90. You know, we had a little hesitation to start, but I stayed focused. I wanted to give the crowd a good show. I can't control the win. But I'm very happy with the performance. Hope everyone is too and we bring it again next year. On to the men's triple jump now. Lee Van Superman Sands performing for the home crowd. He finished third with a best of 54 feet 6 and 3 quarter inches. This night though belonged to current world and Olympic champion Christian Taylor. He won with a leap of 56 feet 1 and a half inches. The men's 400 meter hurdles closing out the night on the track. Jeffrey Gibson looking to get back to the form which catapulted him onto the medal podium last year at the World Championships. He would have to settle for third with a run of 49.16. Johnny Dutch picking up the win in 48.36. I just had a strategy just to get out since I started behind make up the second and then just let my momentum carry me on the back stretch and really just bring it home. I've been doing a lot of 800 meters so my strength is there. It's a world leading time early on in the season. What plans do you have heading into the Olympics this summer? Um, taking meat by meat. Um, it's still early, so I'm satisfied with that time that I can go back home and work on minor things. And try not to overrace this year. It's all about timing. The Chris Brown Invitational, not the only sporting event going on last night in the capital. With their backs against the wall, the Commonwealth Bank Giants were trying to avoid a sweep in the New Providence Basketball Association's best of seven championship. Down 3-0 to the mailboat sidebots, the Giants knew it was win or go home, and they came away with a 93-88 Game 4 victory. Duran Cox led the Giants with 24 points. Jarrell Coakley added 21 points and 22 rebounds. Eugene Bain had a game high. 25 points in the loss. Livingston Munnings added 17 points and 10 boards, while Ernest Saunders followed with 12 points. Game 5 will be played tomorrow night back at the AF Valley Gym. And once again, it's win or go home for the Giants. The New Providence Women's Basketball Association's 2015-2016 season in the history books. And President Minas Cargill Sherman happy with the way things went both on and off the court. We've had a pretty good season um, in terms of fan support. Again, I want to say thank you. We're still working hard to get the environment clean as possible as, as we can. Um, you would see that we have a whole lot of improvement in terms of the cleanliness of the gym, the fan improvement, the behavior. Everything is, is wonderful this year. Team Bahamas still celebrating its three silver medals from the Crystal Water Polo Championships in Trinidad. And Coach Laszlo Borbelli says this is proof the program is headed in the right direction. These three medals tell us that the, the path we are on, physically, in speed, ball technique, tactic, tactically, these are the path we need to go. Only that we, we need to go to more international competition get more experience like this, collect more uh, young people who wants to play this sport. They come into the training, we train them very hard, and this success is almost guaranteed them. The Junior Baseball League of Nassau is in full swing with its 2016 season, and the girls' softball program is continuing to excel. It's getting better every week because we constantly practice every Monday and Wednesday, and the girls, you can see a fast difference in their play. And um, if you notice in Austin, old tournament that just passed, St. Anne's won it. Seven out of the nine starters on the field are from JBLN. So it goes to show the level of play. And the girl who won, should have won the MVP, Miss um, Cartwright. She is 13 years old and she's one of our upcoming stars in JBLN. Professional boxing returning to the Bahamas last weekend at the Kendall Isaacs Gym. And promoter Ronaldo Minas believes he's on the right track. So we had some good fights tonight. Uh, the guys have come out and they did, they performed. Uh, Misha came out, he did his job. He did his job beautifully, executed perfectly. And, uh, you know, the guy got hit and uh, almost went put to sleep. And listen here, the sky is the limit. Misha made his back, sports nutrition product is on the move, boxing is on the move. And that will do it for sport. Stay tuned, you have the forecast still to come. This is ZNS Total Sports.